please don't mistake my confidence for arrogance. I am so confident because I do everything that I need to keep myself at the top of the food chain. Mike Rashid putting down Taylor on the deck. Training, my body and my mind. Rest, recovery, and fueling my engine with only the best. We do a lot of training, a lot of different types of methods, but this is something I want to do. I want to take it back to the origins of this shit, right? Okay. The ODB of this shit. I just wanted to say that. Old dirty bastards, for those who don't know. <laughs> anyway, Wu Tang, bitch. Anyway, nah, but but when I when I used to when I first started out, I would do everything for every body part. I talked about that in a video uh, a few videos back. So what we're gonna do, especially for chest, that was my favorite shit to do. Right. So I think every boy just wanna train chest and biceps. That's your armor. That's your armor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you get stabbed, bah. It doesn't go through. It doesn't go through. You know, it's practical. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> please do. Y'all don't listen uh, to this. Y'all think the chest uh, gets stabbed and gonna die. <laughs> you won't. It'll bounce that. It'll we're bend. The blade will bend. <laughs> you know, Alright, check it out. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna run through uh, a chest workout, old school style. Young dudes, dudes just start, starting out. Even if you're not young and you're just starting out, you gotta do everything. You gotta do fucking everything, all right? And do, this is all the basic shit that we're gonna do. We're gonna do a lot of it. But here's the thing. This is what I don't want, want to see y'all doing. I see this shit too often. I see trainers with people, you can tell a guy's thin or whatever, and he got the guy on a hammer strength machine with no weights with bands. Knock it the fuck off. Do the basic shit. Get good at doing the basics, okay? Right. If you got a guy that wants to put on some mass, get his ass on a bench press. Get his ass on a squat rack, deadlifts, pull-ups. Shoulder press, the basics, the basics, master the basics. Anyway, let's get into this. had a vegan diet for two years, right? right. And I, I reintroduced meat, well, mainly fish and shit back into my diet earlier this year. I'm taking it back out, I'm going back 100% plant-based. Really? And I'm gonna convince your ass to do it too, after your show though. I'm gonna let you do your show. Oh, okay. <laughs> let you do your show. Hey, but here's the thing, I'm gonna, prevent, I'm gonna present so many factual things that you're, you're not gonna ignore, you can't ignore, right? Sean got some time, we're, we're in our 40s. Right, you know but, but the We're thing is, 40. how long do I gotta, that's a, man, that's a hard lifestyle. It's not though, it's not. It's a hard lifestyle. Trust me, it's not. So what, would I be able to do fish? No, like, you're gonna, maybe the transition out of uh, animal protein, you. you know? Okay. Yeah, but I'm back, I'm back baby, 100%. I wasn't, I wasn't done. ever gone, but. Your vacation? I took a vacation, you know? Dang. But I, I want it back. Because here's the thing, I brought the fish and shit back, and my inflammation is back too. Oh, in yeah. certain areas, a little nagging, a little longer than it's supposed to be. Yeah. You know. Okay. Yeah. Let's get it. Yep. Yeah. There you go. Uh huh. Yes, sir. Yep. Yeah. All right, y'all do want to see a good setup. All right, 
people, you know, people ask questions like, where should I put my hands? Mm -hmm. It's always, it's always up to you. Whatever's comfortable for you. Wide or or or, or close, it doesn't matter. Does not one is better. I start here with my thumbs, and I scoot out to make sure I'm even. Right now, I feel the need to have my pinky thumb, my pinky finger right here on this rivet right here. Boom. Now what I'm doing right now, I'm turning my shoulder blades down towards the ground, and I'm scooting my feet back to make sure I have some good leverage and to prevent me from lifting my ass off the bench. So now my positioning, my, my body is real tight because the bench press is a total body fucking movement. Y'all gotta understand that. All right, one, two, hey. Yeah. Now my elbows are not gonna be flared out, they're gonna Slow be turned in. Nice and tight. Slow down. Soda biscuit. See, I can talk about soda biscuit as long as I want while he lifts me. Yeah, soda biscuit. <laughs> soda biscuit nah, does it all. I'm not, I'm not even here. Hey, I don't know this language. I don't hey, know this foreign language. Listen, if you want Mac truck, you gotta get the hair unit back. But right now, it's soda biscuit, my man. Come on, Mac, don't do that shit. Don't do that, y'all. That's fucking. You just, you motherfuckers die with this kind of weight. And that shit scares the fuck out of me. Look, I'm, I'm disappointed right now. I'm gonna have a serious talk with your ass. <laughs> Nine minutes. We'll probably do one more set. We're gonna do a whole. Hold on. Proper spotting. A uh, under, over grip. That's the most solid grip you can grab. It's unlikely this shit will slide out your hands. You lift it for your partner and you get the fuck away from the weight. Let them do it themselves. Ready? Yep. Get it over position and you back the fuck up. Yep. Don't have your hand on the bar. Unless they're struggling. There you go. Come on. Easy money. Oh, good. Come on. Yep. Come on. Easy. Good shit. If your guy is struggling, let him struggle. Don't let him struggle too much to where it looks like he's gonna hurt his shoulders though. Yeah, because as a spotter, our job is just to make sure it don't go back down. It's not to really lift it up. But if you see that shit Unless ain't you moving, have like to. It's gonna go up, then go ahead and grab it. Give it a light little tap. Light little tap, coast with him. Let's go. Where we going? 365. Hey. If you notice, we all got <laughs> 200 out there. It's a tennis shoes on. So if you want to lift heavy, you got to wear expensive shoes. <laughs> I let him out of <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. You want to lift? Yeah. On your three. One, two, three. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, it's. Right, here we go. Hey, oh. Let's go. Got him? Yep. Let's go. Can't do that shit. Come on, come on. Get that there shit you up. go. Get that shit up. You got Ooh him. You got him. Lock him out. Easy. Good shit. 285. That was good. All right, let's move to inclines. That was good. Sorry for the interruption, but I had to interrupt you for myself to let y'all know this workout and so many more like this is at overtraining.com, the complete program. Not just chest, but shoulders, back, legs, arms, everything, you name it. A total body breakdown, okay? Properly training the body, mastering the basics, and getting good at it, all right? So go to overtraining.com and get your mind and your body right, because this is more than physical, it's mental. Let's get it. Back to the workout. 25. Of what? 225. Damn, why you got one for the stand up this high? Huh? I, I know, got right? It don't mean it's not. 
You don't have good like, leverage. Yeah, this shit not realistic. We can just get our reps right here. Get your reps on this. Uh -huh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. ADHD days over here. <laughs> All right, so check it out. So we worked on power sets over there on the bench. We weren't there a long time, but we got some fairly heavy sets. But now on the incline press, we're keeping the weight very moderate, not too heavy, so we can give reps for hypertrophy. You gotta have the best of both worlds. You gotta have that strength component. You gotta have the lighter, a little bit lighter, not too light, but fucking dig, dig deep into the reps. And right here, this is sculpting right here, so that's what we're doing on the incline. If we would've started on the incline, we would've went heavy here. We got reps over there. That was 15? Yeah. So the goal is 20. So I'm gonna do five. <laughs> and just ask people 15. All right. Yeah. Let's go. All right. Uh, I got a hell of a pump right yeah. here. Oh. All right. If, that's, if some shit really happened to him, he on his own. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. How many is that? 14, 15, 16. Come on. 17. Come on. 18. 19. Good. Easy fucking one. Good shit, baby. Hell yeah, it is. One, two, three. You don't want to do fucking 315. I want to still just rev 225. I got it. And you can do heavier here. Like when I used to do it, all the time, I used to have my... Sean, he's, he's watched our mistakes, and he's going nice and low like he should. Yeah, I used to put you see that up here? here.
Just went from the gym straight over here to the office. And I'm gonna refuel with some planta. It's my post workout. Um, everybody got how they like to make theirs. I like to make mine a scoop and a half. It's about 30 grams of protein. But I like the flavor at a scoop and a half, you know? You gotta find what, what exactly works for you. Some people a half a scoop, some people a whole scoop, some people two scoops. I like a scoop and a half. Um, I usually mix mine with almond milk, but I'm gonna do it with water today. Fewer calories. There's only 100 calories in a, in a serving of a uh, planta. So, and this is strawberry. I like strawberry. I like all the flavors, but strawberry is dope. But that's it. So that was the workout for today. Um, old school chest workout, you know. We didn't put every little thing in there because it'd take forever to, to edit that motherfucker, this motherfucker. But I hope y'all enjoy it. Once again, um, overtraining, the complete overtraining program is available uh, at overtraining.com. That's down below in the description box. Go ahead and get you, get you some planta, okay? And uh, that's it. Get the fuck out of my office. I'm trying to enjoy my planta and watch the podcast. I'm out.